Well, good afternoon, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. It is a Sunday afternoon. It's about three o'clock. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It really feels like fall. We had temperatures drop into the 40s, even down in my area of Pennsylvania near Philadelphia. So we are on the Appalachian Trail and we are parked at Lehigh Furnace Gap. It was a really rough road coming in. I'm at the first campsite about a tenth of a mile from the trailhead. We are heading northbound and my goal is to do a four mile loop. So we're going to follow the Appalachian Trail for about two miles and then there's supposed to be a side trail known as the South Trail that should take us through some rocky formations and that's really what I want to see. So about four miles, like I said, three o'clock. I don't know what was going on at the trailhead there. There was a group picnicking and I just came across another group of hikers and there was a, several cars coming through. It was like really odd to see all this commotion in the middle of nowhere, but uh, I think it's gonna be pretty quiet from here on out. So thanks for joining me. Let's see what we see. Let's go for an adventure. All right, guys, let's hit that trail. Gator out. The trail here is like straight as an arrow. I can look 100 plus, 100 yards easy, straight down, it's like a tunnel. And uh, I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but it is beautiful out here. If you wanna do something to make yourself feel better, to feel good, go for a walk in the woods. <laughs> You'll engage every sense, your sight, your hearing, smell, feel, Maybe not taste, but maybe you find some berries and maybe taste too, but you'll feel alive. It's so, so invigorating to get out into the woods. It's nature's medicine. I was putting a smile on my face. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. This south trail, probably marked in blue, goes this way. And uh, it says, it, so it'll run for 1.1 miles through some open areas and it connects with the AT 1.1 miles down. So we're gonna continue on the Appalachian Trail and this will be our return point. We got a very, very heavy fern understory in this part of the uh, trail. And we are picking up a little bit of uh, traffic noise from, I think the Pennsylvania Turnpike is basically right below us. We may have like almost just passed right over top of it. But that's the only thing, uh, only blemish on uh, just a, a divine experience out here. I mean, I don't usually hike this time of day. I usually hike early in the morning. I had some specific reasons why I couldn't do that today, but this is working out well.
walking through this section now of pine and scrub oak and there's views to the left looking north and the, the crickets and the insect life are, are really really chirping away that beautiful sound that late summer sound I love opening my window in the late summer months and hearing that noise and falling asleep to it man, man this is just This is just, uh, it's, a, it's such a blessing for me to, to be here. I, I know I repeat myself all the time. I can't help it. Uh, I thank you for sharing it with me. I hope you at home watching this get a little feel of the joy and, and the beauty that's out here and, and how, how invigorating it is. Uh, that's what I try to do here with this channel is bring you out here and help you experience a little taste of it yourself. All right, so we've now reached the furthest point on the loop. South Trail rejoins AT 1.1 miles. So this is our side trail where we're gonna, we're gonna come out at that sign we saw a little while ago. So um, it's 4.15, we've been out here for almost an hour and a half, not quite. And uh, I'm gonna give myself two hours to get back, uh, 6.15, 6.30. And uh, it's supposed to be pretty rocky, pretty slow going. But uh, my main concern is the road coming in because that was a really bad road. I don't want to be going down that road in the dark. So, but uh, here we go on the South Trail. Let's check it out. Very, very grown in here to start. You can see a big difference from this trail and the Appalachian Trail. So much less used and trafficked, I think. So this is classic, classic rattlesnake, copperhead habitat here. And I know they're here, but it may be just too cold for them today. But we will keep an eye out. That would be definitely be cool to come across one. But these kind of trails here aren't for everyone, but I love them. <laughs> as long as you don't fall and break an ankle, that can change things quickly, I, I guess. So we've reached this beautiful outcropping of rocks here. You can see, looking out over the Lehigh Valley behind me, uh, nice prominence here, big jumble of rocks, and uh, great place to take a break. Beautiful trail, but let's continue on. It's not getting any earlier. I really enjoy walking through these 
type of landscapes and as the sun continues to set down in the sky the opportunities for photography up here with the rocks and even the way the sunlight is shining off these trees almost gives them like an orange yellowish color uh, but yeah lots of lots of great photography opportunities up here nice views in the background beautiful beautiful place Trail reports are correct. The footing here is treacherous, probably bordering on dangerous in wet conditions. Lots of loose rocks, and uh, you really got to be careful. But it is lovely. As we're moving along here, this trail we're on, this blue trail, blue, blue South Trail, this may be the epicenter of Roxylvania because this part of the AT is known for its rocks and this is the rockiest one mile section I think I've ever walked. So maybe that'll be the name of the video, the epicenter of Roxylvania. <laughs> I had gotten to the point on the hike where I said, I hope there's going to be one more view, but I don't think there is because it was closing up. And then it comes out to the most incredible view. One of the most amazing places in Eastern Pennsylvania I've been to. I don't see how you can really top this. Unbelievable.
I'm just completely mind blown by this section. It reminds me of the Dolly sods and uh, these, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm happy. Can't believe it. Incredible. This here is a very, very special spot. I'm sure that the Native Americans would have been aware of it. And it's been desecrated by somebody. And whoever did that, you're a scumbag. You really are. You're a real piece of crap. And it's karma is going to come back on you. Don't ever, if you're watching this video, don't ever be that person. Gets me upset to see that. But what an amazing location. Almost like a rock shelter and overhang. This is a very impressive formation. Wow. How many thousands of people every day pass through that Lehigh Tunnel below us and don't know any of this is up here. And guess what? This is the trail. I'm on the trail. I didn't take you off the trail. So, I mean, it's just incredible. But we are now heading back into the woods as the wind picks up. And just as we've pulled away from the rocks, there's one more viewpoint. Uh, looking down south now towards the Lehigh Valley, but there's this depression in the ground where this was clearly dug out. And uh, it was it's been used for campfires at least. I can see an old grill there, some charcoal and some burnt wood. I don't know how long that's been there, but that would take a lot of work to dig that out. And look at this view. Wow. I actually walked right past this formation, but perhaps all the, the rocks that were dug out of that hole were placed here. Almost like a perfectly round table. You never know in places like this, I mean, for thousands, 10,000, 20,000 years, um, Native Americans have known about this, this ridge, Kittatinny Ridge. It's the first main mountain as you're moving uh, north and west from the Philadelphia area. It runs all the way across the state. And uh, you just don't know when you see things like that how old it is, if it's done recently, which it probably was, or done a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago. Mind blowing stuff. All right, my friends, I see the sign for the trail junction. We have returned to the Appalachian Trail. Absolutely incredible. What a surprise. I knew it was, be I knew it was gonna be good. I didn't know it would be that awesome. Incredible views, incredible rock formations. It blows my mind that three of the best trails I've ever done in Pennsylvania are within an hour and a half drive of where I live in Philadelphia. A truly spectacular place. Um, you're not going to find content like this anywhere else in Pennsylvania. So make sure you hit that like button. And uh, if you can, check me out on Patreon. Help support me to getting out to these places. Uh, I thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them and get back to you as soon as I can. But that's going to do it for now. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Gator.
so you see how so you see how dark it is now in the woods here and the sun's beginning to set behind the hillside which is fine I'm pretty close to the car but like I said before I just want to get off the mountain because of the road coming up here at least if you're coming from the south uh, it's bad I mean it's all washed out foot divots like maybe one foot divots obviously I made it uh, up here in a challenger so anybody can do it but you got to be careful so little bonus tip I can't stop filming I'm living on the high of that experience <laughs> uh, see you guys